Hey folks, hope you can see me well. Welcome back to another video. Today is a review. Let me get some water. Okay. Alright, well, for today's review, hope you enjoyed my birthday paper for the way. Still on my channel. Sorry if I sound a little tired. Had a rough, well, I had a good day yesterday. Despite having to deal with crazy driving yesterday, I uh, don't want to get into that, but anyway. Continue with my next Superman animated reviews, you know, continue with the Superman animated reviews, that's what I've been on, on my Superman marathon on my channel. Uh, we've been on the Superman animated films. So for the next one, this film came out in 2018, it's also a director video, and of course I am reviewing today, that is, The Death of, the death of Superman, yes. Really like that cover, you know. Yeah. I'll take the slip cover off, I guess, for the whole majority of the review, I guess. Yeah. But the Death of Superman, which is on DVD and Blu ray here. Now, pretty much right away is what I'll say right now is I did enjoy this movie. I liked it. Yes, yeah, so there were times where it was pretty much where the ending was sad. But I think it, it does a better job than Superman Doomsday. It adds more to the story, which I feel like that's what I'm getting. And that's what I think rushed a bit. This movie, I feel like they took their time with it. And I think they did a good job with the death of Superman. I think it was a lot better than Superman Doomsday, in my opinion. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really good. Excellent. I think they did an excellent job on it. In my opinion. So, let's get into the review, shall we? And of course, it is based on the comic book storyline of the same name. The Justice League, I'm glad they put the Justice League in this film, because I believe they were in the comic too. Oh, this is also a two-part film, by the way, next being Reign of the Superman, so this is definitely part one. Yeah, and the Justice League, of course, wasn't here. They didn't add completely everything in here, but that's fine. Like I said, most comic book movies or even animated films probably don't add everything from the comic books, which is fine. But The Death of Superman is, 30, is the 32 second installment in the DC Universe animated original movies line, the 11th film in the DC animated movie universe, and is based on the 1992-93 DC comic book storyline of the same name. The story had first been adapted in the 2000 film Superman Doomsday, which I did review Superman Doomsday. Also, go check that out on my channel if you guys get time. However, Superman Doomsday greatly altered and constantly the story to fit it with a 75 minute runtime, including the events associated with the term Superman and that a sequel based comic. The Death of Superman was written to be much more faithful to the original story, according to DC's time, Tim Beetle. Excuse me, the film is much, much less conceited and will include many of the fan favorite moments from the story that they were left out of Doomsday. Now, I have never read the comic book. Just want to clarify that. The film is co-directed by Jack Christie and produced by Warner Brothers Animation and DC Films. According to supervising producer James Tucker, a primary theme of the film is relationships and their impact on Superman's world. His relationships with the characters in the film and how that proceeds, basically. The rest cast of the movie, you have Jerry O'Connor, as Kellogg, Clark Kent, Superman, Rebecca Romaine as Lois Lane, Rain Wilson, Jerry. Oh yeah, Jerry Conn, okay, yeah, he's a good job. He was in Scream 2 and I think Tom Katz, you know. I think he was Superman a couple of times. Rebecca Romaine, y'all should know her from, uh, she was also in The Punisher with Del Cop, with the uh, Dolph Lundgren, with Dolph Lundgren, uh, now Dolph Lundgren, damn it, Thomas Jane, 2004 film. But she was also. She was also mystique in the X Men trilogy, you know, the first three films. Ray Wilson as Lex Luthor. Rosie O'Dawson as Princess Diana, Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. Nathan Fillon as Hal Jordan, Green Lantern. Christopher Graham as Barry Allen, Flash. 
Christopher, oh sorry, Matt Lancer as Orin, Arthur Curry, Aquaman, Shimmer Moore as Victor Stone, Cyborg, Nabi Nan, I can't say his name right, John Jones, Man, Martian Manhunter, Jonathan Adams as Mayor Booker, Booker, Rocky Carroll, who, Samuel Stones, and Perry White, Rocky Carroll, I basically just know him for uh, NCIS, where he plays director Leon Vance, yeah. That show was on his 18th season now, I just, I know him there. I recognize the voice one as soon as I heard it. Trevor DeVille as Bruno Mayhem. Paul Eating as Jonathan Paul Kent. Patrick Thieben as Hank Henshaw as Cyborg Superman. Jennifer Hill as Martha Ma Kent. Charles Wilford, Halford as Bruno Polisku. I can't say the name right. I picture that. Eric Little as Mercy Graves. Max Milley as Jimmy Olsen. Tope, I can't say it. Was his cat Grant. Can't say the name right. Rick, uh, and then two Turban, Amanda Troop as Maggie Sawyer, and Chris Williams as Henry, John Henry Jones. But you also have Mayor Alfred Pennyworth, Damian Wayne Hawkman, Kate Kane, and others appear in non speaking cameos during Superman's funeral. Yeah, Chris Williams, but like, oh my gosh, yeah, you have uh, Black Lightning himself, yeah, which I'm still watching that show, yeah, who plays uh, Jefferson Pierce on. The CW's Black Lightning TV show. I know right now, I think he was the cop too. I don't know. I know he was the cop in this. Yeah, he was the officer that talks to John Paul Mockett, you know. But he voices John Henry Irons. Yeah, I think he definitely would have made an awesome steel character more than Shaq, Sha Shaq Shaquille O'Neal, in my opinion. <laughs> if they did in live action. But anyway. It has its premiere at the San Diego, San Diego Comic International on July 20, June, July 20, 2018. And it was released straight to video on August 7, 2018 on DVD and Blu-ray. Gets a 92%, I think, on Rotten Tomatoes. I also do think it's better than Batman vs. Superman does, but they did better with Doomsday here in my opinion. You had a comic book tie-in. The Daily Superman won the Home Media Award for Best Superhero Disc, beating out Superman the Movie, 40th Anniversary, and Avengers of Infinity War, and Batman the Animated Series, and The Incredibles 2. Well, wow. And of course, you had the sequel to The Reign of Superman, or, you know, it's two parter, basically. It's directed by Sam Liu, Jack Krusnu, I can't say his name right, produced by Sammy Liu, and McKinney, written by Peter J. Thompson, based on the death of Superman, the DC comic. Is the music is by Frederick Wardman. It's edited by Christopher D. Lux. It's distributed by Warner Home Brothers in Santa Video. And it was released July 20th, 2018, and July 24th, 2018 on digital, on DVD and Blu-ray. So, and it's 81 minutes long. The running time, I mean. Just one hour and 21 minutes long. Okay, what the film is, what this film, what the death of Superman is about is that, I'll go ahead and get to the the plot synopsis of the film. Superman and the rest of the Justice League unite to battle a hulking monster named Doomsday, but it's, all, it's ultimately up to the Mayor of Steel to save the day as the two titans square off in the heart of Metropolis. The aftermath of the fight soon leads to a new mystery as four superhumans, Steel, Cyborg, Superman, Superboy, and the Eradicator declare themselves to be the ultimate hero. Kind of like right after his death. Yeah. But I'll get to that soon. And again, maybe some spoilers in here, so if you haven't seen the movie, turn the video off. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so if you don't, if you haven't seen the film, don't watch this review. Because there will be spoilers, probably. So. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Alright, alright, nine minutes in? Okay. Hope you get some seeing a lot. Yeah, I must have broken a lot, yeah, but it's just yeah. Oh great. Hope you guys have seen me oh great. Okay. 
So that was a little bit of work, Camille. Hope you guys can see me and stuff. Sorry, that was me just messing with it too much. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the movie itself. I'm sorry for the blur of the video. But anyway, let's get into the death of Superman. So here we go. And I'm sorry about the quality of the video here and the audio as usual. I'm sorry about that. here is that Superman has become a hero to the citizen of Metropolis and of course you have also the villain here Lex Luthor who of course Lex is a super villain he owns Lex Corp he tries to pretend to be a good guy but he's really he's really not and I like the beginning of the film where Superman takes on these bad guys uh, it might have been Bruno Mayhem or something like a gangster or something um, basically, it's an attempt to kidnap the mayor of these, this gang, armed with apocalypse technology. They attempt to kidnap you. Have Dan Turpin, you have this little lady who is basically the cops are fighting. They're using these weapons to attack the cops. I like it though when she. Okay, I won't do that anymore. Well, I think we're better here. But anyway, but I like it when she hits the, hits one of the bad guys with the core. Of course, they're in the machine. And they're trying to fight them. They nearly use it like like a string, kind of like from uh, I Come in Peace to kill to kill Dan Turpin. But Superman shows up and fights these guys off. He's like, you know what? One thing I can't stand is a boy. Superman says, and Superman eventually beats these guys up, and he defeats them. And then you get the title of the Death of Superman. That comes that comes to play. And so they had, of course, they had a mother box. Which Superman, of course, calls on the Flash and Cyborg. It's cool to see them, and he, he like, tells the Flash to tie, tidy up. And they have this piece of mother box, and he asks Cyborg to test everybody. He says he needs to go to his father. Um, yeah. Which his name is Victor Stone. Who, Victor Stone, Cyborg, he, uh, played by his character, he just became a Cyborg when his father was doing experiments on him. He just became a machine. He was a football player, and by an accident, in an accident, he becomes a machine. And of course, y'all know the Flash is, well, people don't know, is Barry Allen, who is a forensic, um, you know, he works for the police. He's a forensic expert, or whatever you want to call them. That test evidence, of course, got shot by lightning, you know, and becomes the superhero known as the Flash, so he can run fast, he has super speed. But anyway, when Superman says, you know, this guy takes a picture, he's like, my buddy Superman, you know, and takes a picture with the guy. And Superman's nice enough to do that. Oh, Superman was always nice. And he flies away because he got to go meet Lois. And I like it when the Flash is like, when the Flash, he says something, I forget. The Flash is like, hey, like, Border Patrol or something? I may already some quotes from it, but, yeah. Anyway, he goes to an interview with, the, with Lois Lane, telling you that he, of course, brought his, this is the rocket that Superman came in, he brought the ship to the scientists so they can test it out. He's trying to, Superman doesn't know how to handle the Kryptonian te technology, so he's trying to get help. And you also see from, you know, the birthday matrix, the crystal that he was in, when he touches it, you see someone who was a man of Krypton, and you see his biological parents, uh, Joel and Mora, who are Superman's real parents from his home planet. And he's like, well, well, I can't save you from, you know, flying plane, drop airplanes all the time, you know, kind of a reference to Superman in the movie. And you also find out that instead of like it wasn't Superman Doomsday, well, Lois is in a relationship with Superman and doesn't know that he's Clark Kent. In here, she's in a relationship with Clark Kent. And of course, Clark is still the. They still make those Christmas reverses of him being, you know, clumsy and stuff. And he loves and loves and loves. They go into the office and they share a kiss. And you find out that her and Clark in a relationship. And she's like, Clark, you, you know, we're not we've been seeing each other lately. I don't know if you really want to be with me. You know, he keeps hiding his secret from her. She doesn't know that he's Superman because he's not told her. He's kind of distancing himself from her. And Lois just doesn't like that. She's like, What? You don't you don't want to be with me? 
And even though he knows that he doesn't want to bring her into his world of Superman because he's got enemies, he's got a lot of fights to deal with, there's no she would want to deal with his, or she could deal with his secret. That's what he's worried about. And Superman also you see Lex Luthor, which well, when you find out uh, you meet the Steel character, I forget John Henry Irons, I think his name is. He's a big fan of Superman. And uh, Cyborg and his father, they do the test. They find out something about the Mother Box, and he has he figures out uh, Lex has something to do with it. Lex is under house arrest for his crimes, and you know he's like. Superman, what are you kidding me this time? It's like stealing your mother box up. I've been here the whole time. You know, check out my break here, I on his foot, which of course is made with ways with crypto. He's like, don't worry, it's not real. More like he's taunting Superman. And he's like, no matter what, Lex, this city will never love you. And then, you know, it's like he, you know, then, you know, Lex gets mad about that after Superman flies away and, and like, you know, Punches a mannequin or something like that, or a workout mannequin or whatever, you know, something you punch. Because <laughs> he's mad about that. We have another Superman admirer who named Captain Hank Henshaw, who I believe come, becomes Cyborg Superman. Loses him evidence aboard the shuttle on an x when a pretty much they're on a mission, him and his wife and his friends, and the astronauts are trying to fix the satellite, and a big meteor comes and they have to get out of there. The meteor attacks was like, don't worry, Superman saved us. I knew Superman would save us. And the meteor attacks and, the, you know, it, o it opens the shuttle. You know the the space. You know the ship they're in, and they all go out, fly, and die. And the space shuttle hits them, and then I mean the meteor hits them and kills Hank Henshaw, as what you think. But anyway, th this meteor goes head to the straight for Earth. Well, his body is only counted for. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. And it crashes the Atlanta, the Atlanta Ocean floor, which Lex Luthor, when he finds out about this, wants to find his meteor and test it, see if he can get a blood sample out of it, because I think it's another alien. Just a way for him to probably take on Superman, defeat Superman as usual. Um, Lex, as Lex sends him down there, they run to Atlanteans who are, of course, you know, part of the Atlantis kingdom, run by Aquaman, so... Anyway, while they're under there, though, Doomsday comes out, grabs the two ladies' head, and you have blood in your actual real blood. Yeah, this film, it is PG 13's a sequence, and, you know, it does have bloody imagines, just let anybody know. Where Doomsday grabs two ladies' heads, and he crushes it, and the Lex Luthor employees, or the Lex Corp employees that are in the, in the submarine, Doomsday attacks, grabs the lip mirror, and just crushes the guy's head, and just walks out of the water. Later, Aquaman and his. And Mirror comes to investigate this. Ogreman follows this shark. He sees footprints and he tells Wonder Woman about it. I forgot how much I like the scene where Wonder Woman and Superman are kind of, you know, talking about identities and they're both like in a training simulation. Sorry. In a training simulation, which I thought was cool. Because Wonder Woman was like, what are we? I guess you can say her, him, her and Superman were in a relationship for a bit, although it really didn't work out. He's like, well, you need to tell her that you're Clark Kent, you know. Man, maybe you don't sweat, but underneath you sweat. <laughs> and meanwhile, also, the, uh, the Justice League has a meeting about the mother box that Superman found. I like it, though, when you see Batman in here t uh, saying he's got to go t to uh, have a parent competition uh, parents conference meeting or something at a, at a school for his son Damian Wayne and he's like can you see that and the flash makes a joke about it you know he was like Batman makes school or something like that with the, you know kind of the Batman ears and Batman's like <sighs> the flash is like the green light that he's still looking 
Yep. And but <laughs> which I thought was funny. So as you know the day with Batman and he's not very jokey, Batman is very dark and grim, so but that's Batman. And Barry Allen says that he's gonna marry, you know, Iris West and Superman's are like, Well, Barry, does she have your secret identity? She's like, Does she does she know that well she set up a date for it. No, does she know your secret? The sort of ways you have to make she knows, she understands. That's what marriage is about, Clark, and Superman you know, Superman begins to think you know, tell Lois a secret. I forgot to mention that he also goes to lunch with his parents, Jonathan and Martha Kemp, his adopted parents. And they tell some secrets about, they tell her about, you know, his past as a kid, which I thought was funny. And he's uncomfortable by it. Because they tell him about Long Lane and stuff. And they do talk a little bit more that she says to him, you know, I'll, you know, you need to open up more to me. We just can't have a relationship no more. That's what she tells Clark. This is just not going to work if you just don't be more open with me. And, of course, you know, he tells to his mom, his, his adopted mother, Martha Kent, and she tells him, look, she's special, Clark. You need to tell her, stick to her, you know, who you are. And, of course, he does finally make a decision to do that. But meanwhile, Doomsday, of course, is still calls him chaos. He, There's these people camping in the woods and a bear attacks and this girl is like hiding from the bear in the tent. And the bear no attempts her out, but then Doomsday grabs the bear. You don't see it, but you can tell he just crushes this bear to death. This girl walks up a little closer and the blood squirts all over her. And she's like, huh? And then she opens the tent and she sees Doomsday and Doomsday just gives his hand and of course you don't see it, he sees her yell and scream and that's it. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, Wonder Woman tells Clark about Doomsday coming, even though he tells to go to lunch with Lois and talk to her, and tell her his secret. He, like, goes to that bar where that, uh, where the, the bar owner obviously took a picture of Superman as a, in a fan, and the fan of Superman, and they have like super delicious food, super this, super that. <laughs> and he's like, Lois, I need to tell you my secret. He's like, I'm Superman. And Lois is like, Clark, you're not Superman. She just laughs about it. But eventually he, you know, the people who take his glasses off, he's like, you are Superman. And he's like, yes. Tells her his secret. Finally, and meanwhile, the Justice League takes on Doomsday, who comes a bit more and attacks more people, kills a couple more people. The cops try to fight him; they 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 blow him. It was like he's dead, he's dead. Nope, kills more cops, stabs some cops, crushes his face to death. And this girl's like recording with her phone, like, "Please, someone save us!" And then, of course, the Justice League show up: Green Lantern, Batman, and Cyborg, or Flash, or some of that. Hawkman. Batman and Green Lantern. Hawkman, you know, is able to use his weapon, shielding weapon, to attack and, and hit Doomsday, but Doomsday is going to take some out. Uh, Green Lantern gets some Green Lantern and tries to fight. No, he's able to put up a good fight with Doomsday. Is able to like hold the grip on him, like tie him up, but Doomsday's strong, but Green Lantern's like <laughs> trying to use his ring to make it strong. Use all his strength, but eventually, you know, Green Lantern gets defeated. Next, the Flash tries to find the Flash, grabs Hawkman's weapon, and starts using his super speed to attack him, which is pretty cool. Mr. Doomsday, I forgot to wear it, is missing the mask. You can see his eye. His mask starts coming off a bit more as he's fighting the Justice League. But he takes them on. I mean, he defeats the Flash. And of course, later he takes Justice League on Batman. Batman tries to put some bombs on his Batman, remember, his own superpowers. So, you know, the only thing he can do is just fly and get away from him. I mean, Batman does try to put up a fight, you know, because Batman does not, would not be afraid, no. Batman would jump in any fight, regardless of not having any powers. Uh, but Batman nearly gets beat, he nearly hits Batman as well, gives Batman cut on the shoulder. Martian Manhunter fights him a bit more. Martian Manhunter does pretty good because he can disappear. 
tries to read his mind telepathically because he's a telepath and he's like the creature is just to, his the only thing he's thinking is destruction he enjoys the fight and he only wants to pretty much doomsday just wants to kill and destroy that's the only his mission is to just kill period but Marshall Manhunter, he's able to get defeated by fire. I felt bad for him there when he's like, ah, I'm yelling by the fire. Uh, but anyway, Superman eventually does show up. He was like, I don't know what, cro what rock you were hiding under, but I'm putting you back there. Because he fights with Wonder Woman a little bit. And he destroys Wonder Woman, so she's about to try to fish and blow Doomsday, but Doomsday punches her sword and, and breaks it. And when he punches her, and her and, Su and Superman, after he shows up, she's like, Superman, take him out. You know, kill him, basically. And then Superman fight for a little bit. And he's a hard fight for Superman. Superman gives a good punches in there. And eventually they... Okay, yeah, the, the guy's name was Beagle. The, the guy, but anyway. Superman ends up on a bridge, fighting Doomsday, giving a few punches in. And he punches Superman. Superman is actually bleeding. And, you know, his costume is getting, nearly getting ripped. And Doomsday attacks the bridge, and this boy is about to get killed. Superman saves him, and he's like, here's Game Boy. He's like, go, and the boy gives him a hug. That was a sweet moment. And Superman is able to say, like, use some book to tie up Doomsday. But Doomsday gets out, and him and, uh, him and Superman, Doomsday fight more. Lois is reporting that Jimmy is flying the helicopter. Or they fight through the metropolis and they reach the Hall of Justice. They fight a couple more times. Lois Luthor decides that he's going to get a battle suit and he gets a battle suit. The Lexo suit tries to take on Doomsday. He's like, he's like, he, and then he's beating up on Doomsday. Like, metropolis is under protection of of Lex Luthor. You son of a bitch. And you know, he takes out Lex Luthor, Superman saves Lex, and Superman's like, No! Lex is like, No! I'm going to be the hero! Because he wants to be the true savior, I guess you can say. You know, uh, Doomsday nearly knocks the plane that j the helicopter that Superman, I mean that Lois is on, he's able to save the plane, he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, wait a minute, she's like, Superman, you okay? He's like, you got me. Who's got you? I think that, that you know, when he, when Lois says that to him, because Lois is like, Superman, I got you. He's like, well, you got me. Who's got you? I think that was a reference to Superman in the movie. Come on. Because that wasn't the first time Superman showed up in Superman in the movie when he catched Lois and she said, you got me. Who's got you? <laughs> uh, Clark, of course, the fight this is beating him more up, bloody as he is. Lois is almost going to sacrifice herself. Doomsday has like a sword of a hand and he's going to stab her. And Superman's like, no! And to save her, he punches Doomsday several punches. Doomsday's neck just cracks like this, just backwards. And by the fact, he got stabbed by um, Doomsday. And she's like, no. And the Justice League sees this, Batman looks at this, Batman is mad and his grip untightens. He's like, you know, like that. The Justice League sees, the whole world sees. Uh, the the bond of uh, Bebo Bebo sees and the little kid sees and ever starts crying. This movie made me cry too. I almost cried. This movie almost made me cry. Yes, because it was sad to see the death of Superman. Then you get to see that they're watching on the news where the TV of Superman's cape and everyone's sad. You know, it, it was yeah. Never made me cry too. It was just it's very emotional. And his death is broken, so eventually they have a... But, of course, Star Wars has Doomsday's corpse. And they have Superman's rocket, which the rocket starts off and flies off. But they won't let Lex Luthor do testing on blood, as he wanted um, Doomsday's blood. But Star Labs won't let him have it. Because they just know that he's not a good guy, so <laughs> pretty much 
then it ends with the rock. Well, not just that, but Superman comes out of his grave, I guess you could say, and they're like, well, it's like, you know, they, you mean, of course, and it's like, well, it's like, and, she's like, oh. and then the end credits come. Then you have four mysterious experience at the end credits. First, you have the Superman clones destroyed at Cacmus, the social and prototype escapes. Second, you have Dr. Iron forging Superman symbol out of a suit of armor, which will be still. Then third, you have a Superman figure watches as Superman's rocket comes in and buries itself under the North Pole. And then lastly, you have the above the Earth, a cyborg resembling Superman arrives, which is Cyborg Superman. And that's when, that, that's the end of part one. So that's the end of, and that's the end of the death of Superman. Yeah. That's the end of the death of Superman. And then you get into part two and the Superman after this. So, yeah. Just like the Dark Knight Returns part one and two, part, part one and part two, this is also a two-parter. But well, part two will be Reign of, Super, Reign of the Superman. Alright, well that's the end of the death of Superman. Yeah. we got 30 minutes. Maybe I'll read some quotes real quick. Yeah. But this movie is not all emotional. And I do like the moment at the funeral where Green Lantern lights up a fire. Why would you, why would you let Superman die? When a washed up old rough neck like me goes on living, it ain't right, God. It just ain't right. And then he's, you know, people who's, like I said, a fan of Superman, a good friend of Superman, has a picture that he got with Superman and starts crying. Mercy Graves, you think it might kill Superman? It would save me a lot of trouble. I don't know what hole you crawled out of or where you came from, but I'm sending you back. Take him down, Clark. Don't hold back or he'll kill everyone. I do not suffer people, suffer fools, people. The world is filled with too many already. All those Christians who worship aliens believe in them to be the agents of justice. But I have seen the aliens' true face. I understand his threat. In spite of my false confession at the hands of the these vigilantes, let's go up and stay on mission. We're building his effort to find the next alien of mess and crush in infinity. I owe you one, Flash. The Flash. You owe me about 30. I wonder if it's too late to... Okay, this is the final way Flash says. I wonder if it's too late to join the Titans. Is there an age limit? <laughs> I'm a member of the Green Lantern Corps. We eat monsters like these for breakfast. When he gets ready to fight Doomsday. Alright, well, that's it. We'll meet next Thursday. Some, same bat, <laughs> same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> and I'll look at my side that, That's probably a reference to the 60s, uh, Alan Musk show. At the floor. Yeah. But that's some funny dialogue in here. But anyway, let me get to my final opinion on the death of Superman, folks. Alright. And I'm sorry if this video looks bad. It's my fault messing around with this stupid webcam, but hope you guys can see me still. Sorry. And I'm sorry if the quality and stuff looks a little blurry, but you guys can still see me, right? But anyway, I'm going to put the slip cover back. But anyway, The Death of Superman, I love this movie. It's really excellent. I think it's very good. I think it, like I said, I think it did better than Superman Doomsday because I think it added more to the story from the comic book. I think it had more of a, an effect on Superman's death. And it was, uh, for me, it was more emotional. Yeah, Superman Doomsday was sad, but this here, I think it was a lot sadder. I think it was better done. Because you had the Justice League there, you had just more emotion in the story. Because it really made me cry, and I'm like, yeah. Because Superman is a good voice, he's the boy scout, he's the guy that, you know, saves everyone and you depend on. You know, Superman is a hero, basically, you just look up to, you know, to always do the right thing, no matter what, you know. But. And I think they did a really good job. The story, I think the directing and the writing was good. Um, yeah. But the film, I think it went long. It goes by at a really good pace. It's got a good story. And I like the Justice League being here. This is still a Superman film. I still count this as a Superman film. Even, you know, because the hell does say Death of Superman. It is his movie. It's not a Justice League film, even though they're there, they were there because they were part from the comic. So, 
So, well, the other said it was, but Justice League did it was more impactful. Same with Justice League taking him, and some of them had cool. And when the action is as good, the stories were good. The animation, I mean, I miss. I like the hand drawn animation. These are what they use. DC uses the hand drawn animation. You know, which I like that. The, the animation here, I think, is really good. and really excellent. For 2018, it looks really good. It looks like it's just brand new. And Superman looks good in the animation. Doomsday looks, I think, more awesome than he did in Superman. Doomsday looked good in there, but it looks better here because, like, he's got that mask and stuff from the comic, that suit he wears. And I'm just looking at when Superman uses heat vision on it, you see his full appearance. And it looks, looks more scary, like a monster that just will... Doomsday is just a monster that will keep killing no matter what. You know, he's just a killing machine, basically. But the death of Superman, it was really sad. When Superman's death hits, I mean, it just, you know, when he kills Lois, that he loves her and just passes away. I mean, yeah, it was just sad. And see everybody crying, you know, I was crying too, you know. You feel the emotion that the characters feel when Superman dies in here. I felt that. I felt that too. And the voice cast, I think, did a really good job. If you have voice these characters just as you I think they do a really good job. I, feel, I think it was Jason Momoa who was Batman. Yeah, Jason Momoa. Yeah. I didn't like him at first, but he's grown on me as Batman. Because the first time I heard him as Batman was in The Son of Batman. But anyway, and you know, you see these characters in Justice League War. So, but it, yeah, which is cool, and I like the Justice League in here. I think it added a lot to the story, which I think so many do is they fail to do that. Uh, any problems with the movie? I don't know, I can't think of it. No, I, I enjoy this movie. I think it's one of the best superhero animated films out there, one of the best DC animated films, in my opinion. Probably say one of the best Superman films, too. I probably say, like I said, I like it more than Superman Doomsday, I like it more than All Star Superman. I put this film out there with Superman vs. the Elite. And Superman, Superman Be Unbound is number one for me. I would say you like Superman Unbound more than this, and Superman vs. Elite more than this. But this would definitely hit third place for me. I don't know. But that's just me though. But the death of Superman, I have no issues with it. I thought this was great. I enjoyed it. 81 minutes and long, it doesn't feel like it. If you're a fan of Superman like I am, you're a Superman fan, and you want to see, if you like Superman Doomsday, and you want to see the story of Superman, the other Superman done right, definitely watch this. I think they did it better here, in my opinion. But if you ever watch the movie, like I said, I hope you were not spoiled. So you were warned. There were spoilers in this review. But anyway, guys, The Death of Superman, my rating for this film, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. And my rating for The Death of Superman is 5 out of 5 stars. Yes. Really great movie and really emotional, too. But see at the end of the movie. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry for the blurriness of this video. But anyway, for the next Superman review, and by the way, by the way, guys, we only have I have only three Superman animated films to review, so we're very close to being done with the Superman animated reviews. And next. Next, I'm going to be reviewing Reign of the Superman, which is part two. Yeah, remember, this is part one, and next I'll be reviewing part two. Uh, probably next week. But Reign of the Superman, this will be next. This is another good one, so I definitely look forward to watching this one. Yeah, but Reign of the Superman, this will be next. Yeah, the next review, I mean. Reign of the Superman. But anyway, five out of five stars. For the death of the death of Superman, my rank for the film was skin five out of five stars and thumbs up. Let me if you haven't watched this movie, y'all, please don't watch the video because I don't want you to spoil it for yourself. And if you have seen this movie, what do you think of it? Like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for excuse me, I'm going to Thanks for watching. Have a good day, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a good day. And hopefully this Saturday I'm gonna try. This time, three trailer reactions, which will be for hopefully uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, uh, and a Snake Eyes trailer, and also the new trailer for Moto Transylvania Four, uh, Transformania, 
transformation or something like that. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next review, in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.